Hello, my name's Lisa, and if this is your first time here, then thank you very much for choosing to click on this video. If you are a returning subscriber, then just know that I really do appreciate you. Today's video is a Zoom training call from a tippy top of the pyramid lady in Plexus. Without any delay, let's just dive right in, shall we? Okay, everyone, welcome to our gold mastermind. The purpose of these Zooms is to help you guys grow 100 points, whatever that looks like for you. In order to grow your points in this business, in order to grow and move forward before you do any of that, because some of you are like me and you're thinking, just give me the, give me the action steps. Anybody like where are my threes at? Give me the, just give me the process. I'll do whatever you say. Just do it. That's great. And I love that. And I love that you are so eager and hungry for this before I give you the, the, the low down, here's what you need to know. It all starts with your mindset and what you believe about yourself and what you believe about this opportunity, because I guarantee to you that you are avoiding something. And that is why that the needle is not moving forward in your business. Yeah. Okay. I might step on some toes tonight and I'm okay with it because here's the thing. This ain't for everybody. I mean, it is, but y'all have made a decision subconsciously that this ain't for you for whatever reason. The way this lady is starting off this call, it's all about mindset. Makes me feel like they're going to be brainwashed. She's going to be telling them how their mindset should be in order to try and make this business successful. And she also corrected herself there, didn't she? This isn't for everyone. Well, actually it is. I personally agreed with you the first time. It is definitely not for everyone. So we're going to change that tonight. All right. So if you don't know who I am, by the way, I know we have sideline people on and some other friends. I'm Emily Roberts. I'm a diamond senior gold. My husband's an Emerald ambassador. I feel like at this point in my business, I know what I'm talking about. I also hired a business mentor in May who has completely changed my thought process around what I do. So your girl's over here leading with the business. And I want to make sure that you guys are leading with the business too, because our products are awesome. And that's backup. That's extra. That's how I feel about our products. Personally, I think that any husband who gives up his job to join his wife in a multi-level marketing company is making a huge mistake. Just because your wife is successful at it doesn't mean you are going to be, or does it? Wow. When you're at the tippy top of the pyramid, then you can place anyone underneath your husband, can't you? Because you have the ability to control what is going on in the downline and where people are placed. So it could be misleading for people who don't know that the leaders have the ability to do that. So you may think to yourself, well, she's a diamond and he's whatever rank she said. And that's really good because he's actually doing better than I am. But it's not all through hard work like you are going to put in, into this opportunity. And that is something you really need to consider. And the last point she threw in there was she's got herself a mindset coach. Wow. Does everyone feel that they need a mindset coach? She didn't need one to get to the rank she's at now. So why all of a sudden do you think she feels she needs one now? Or is it just a flex so she can tell you that she earns enough money to pay an astronomical amount per hour to some mindset coach who she can then share that information with you? Is that what she's really doing or is it a good thing? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. But in reality, this business... That's the sweet spot. And if you aren't leading with the business, then your paycheck's not going to grow. Your business isn't going to grow. 
there's a massive thing that you will notice between when they post on social media what they say and what they say on these so-called private calls. The number one thing you need to lead with is the business. So it's not trying to sell someone on the amazing Plexus products which are all based on health and wellness and their pink drink which is supposed to help aid you in slimming because it's meant to control your hunger. So this business is not all based on the products and that's what this diamond leader is telling her team that it's all based on recruiting. So anyone who thinks that they can make a life-changing income just by selling the products, she has just told you that is not going to be the case. And let's change that tonight. But I would love, love, love to make sure that you kind of follow the flow. So tonight, this is about growing 100 points. I'm going to kind of walk you all through all these different things that you may or may not be doing or the things that you're avoiding and where they come from. So if you're a note taker, write this down first. There are four pillars that hold up your plexus house, right? Have you ever heard of that? The four pillars of mindset, the four pillars of your plexus business or leadership or whatever. Mindset and leadership or mindset is like, if you were to draw a picture of a house, I want you to draw a triangle. I find that really funny that she's telling them to draw a triangle. I wonder how many attempts she had at that without trying to say, please draw a pyramid. <laughs> write the word mindset. And then you're going to put four lines or four pillars under that mindset. The four pillars are recruiting, retention, duplication, and leadership. Recruiting means you are enrolling VIP. Realistically, recruiting means that you are talking to any person you know with a pulse. So anyone in your inner circle, your friends and family are not going to be safe from this. And quite a few people lose members of their friends and family because of multi-level marketing. You have a system in place. You have that belief and verbiage down. You are enrolling people weekly, daily, monthly. Retention means that your customer service is on point and you have happy customers who are reordering. They get it. They believe in it. They know why they're taking it. The main problem I see with that point is the reordering. Majoritively in a MLM, it's the people in it, so the distributors, they're the ones that are reordering so that they can show the products on social media. And that is where the majority of the reordering comes from. I'm not saying that's where it all comes from, but the majority of it does for sure. The third one is duplication. Duplication means I'm doing it. I'm going to show you how you are going to do it. I do, you do, we do as a team, right? Even if a system is duplicatable, that still does not mean the person next to you is going to have the same amount of success. Because people are different, they're different ages. Let's take someone who's just finished high school and they're 18 years old. They've never had a job. They don't understand what a work ethic is is they don't know how to structure their day because they've never been to work they've only ever been to school and then you've got people that are in another field and they may be introverted so just because something is duplicatable it still does not guarantee that the average person is going to make money with this business and that is something that is never explained 
whether it's on social media or on a Zoom call like this. And I think if you are going to get a balanced perspective on things, you need to be told more than what you're being told. And obviously, a diamond in plexus is not going to tell you all the bad things, is she? Lastly, leadership. Once you have uh, people that you have created, like you're teaching them how to recruit, retain, and duplicate, you are in a leadership role. And now you can go and develop leaders who have maintained their four pillars. Once you've built a team and you're in a leadership role, then you have new responsibilities. You have even more to do when you're in a leadership role in the beginning because it's going to take you more time on doing Zoom calls such as this one. I mean, let's look at it realistically. Why is this diamond doing this team call? It's because all of you on air are in her downline and she wants to keep you there. The more training she gives you, and the more she pumps your mind full of the magical dreams of what you're going to achieve, then the more chance she's got that you are going to stay in this opportunity. Don't think for a second it's because she loves you and she wants to be your friend. No, realistically, she wants you in her team because she wants the money that's going to come from you. And it's disguised as training. All four pillars follow under the mindset umbrella. If you don't have your mindset locked down, what is the first thing you do? You quit, you run away, you blame game, you shut down, you feel stuck, you go in your team chat or you and you read all the things and you're like, I just can't, I just can't. And you leave the chat and then your upline's like, where'd you go? I just can't. It was dinging all day, the notifications. Oh, honey, please. It's 2023. You can mute. The point she's making here is it's all your mindset. It doesn't have anything whatsoever to do with the business model being designed for people at the bottom to fail. They always blame everything on you and your mindset. That is what she is really saying there, in my opinion. The thing is, your mindset is lacking and you're stressed out and you lack clarity. When we lack clarity and vision, we don't know the direction. We don't know the number one thing we're supposed to be doing. We don't, we just don't know what we don't know. So if you have clarity, which is, I'm hoping you walk away from this Zoom tonight with clarity, we have clarity. We know the steps to take and we feel good about them because we believe in ourselves and we believe in the opportunity. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So first things first, if you can master your mind or as Christina Williams, diamond in our company says, mind your mind. If you can mind your mind, then, then the process of creating business builders just comes so naturally on. It comes so naturally almost. So that means it doesn't come naturally at all. It takes a lot of hard work. Because it is a skill you're going to learn, but it comes naturally when your mindset's on fire for plexus and you're like, let's freaking go. You're stupid if you don't do this. Like that's literally how I feel now when someone's like, I just it's not for me. And I just wait. I'm like, why? Why? What are you going to, you going to work for Amazon? Well, at least working for Amazon, you have a time to start and a time to finish. When you're in an MLM, there's no end time or start time, realistically, is there? There's start work as soon as you get out of bed and finish work as soon as it's time for you to go to bed. Because if you do do this business full time, you will be working every single hour that you are awake. And it's only when you get to the tippy top of the pyramid that you tend to get a little bit of time freedom. Because when you're at the bottom of the pyramid, you are going to be working your 
butt off trying to make this work. I'm like, where are you go? What are you gonna do? Like, what? Well, you can work from home. You don't have to put a bra on. Are you serious? Like, I get confused when people tell me no, and then I ask a lot of questions because I'm like, why? I feel like a five year old, but why? Okay, so. When I say we got to work on our mindset, for those of you in therapy or in leadership trainings or mindset work or meditation, all that, don't tune me out because you probably need it most. For those of you thinking, oh, my mindset's great. I know what to do. I know how to create new thoughts. Like, that's great. But don't tune me out because you still got to do a little work if you have not grown 100 points in the last 30 days. Something's missing. Are you seriously picking on people that are in therapy there? They're the ones that need to listen to you most. Wow, I wouldn't be listening to you. I would have turned you off as soon as those words came out of your mouth if I was in therapy. So let's buckle up and figure it out. So let's learn this together so we can then do the actions. So we have to master our mindset or you stay on the hamster wheel of stuck. Does anybody else whether it's in life or in plexus, feel like you are on the hamster wheel of stuck. Anybody feel that way? You can put it in the chat if you're not on camera. Okay. There's going to be some information that we're not privy to regarding these people on the Zoom call. But one thing I do know is some of those people have been in plexus for a year, two years, and there's going to be one lady coming up and she's been in it for three years. So if you've worked your butt off for three years and you still cannot get a hundred point in a month, then doesn't that tell you there's something wrong with the business model? Because that is what it would be telling me for sure. I wouldn't be saying, yeah, it's me, it's my mindset. No, I would be looking outside the bubble and finding out why this is actually not work personally. Well, to be honest, I did that, didn't I? Because I left the two MLMs that I was in. Not because I didn't work hard. No, it was because I was pouring money into them and not actually earning any. Your do right now, the only thing that you should be doing is building belief in this opportunity and in yourself. Because the res did you know that results, like when, you, when you're going for something, whether it's weight loss, a plexus goal, whatever, your results or what some say would be success, your results actually happen in your mind first. They happen twice, in your mind first and then in reality. You're telling them that they need to manifest the results first because that is what it's called when it happens in your mind. So you see it happening before it does. Well, manifesting is not a realistic way, in my opinion, of building a business. In order to make a success, of anything you have to put an awful lot of hard work into it so your results happen twice and here's the thing it's because you make up your mind about what's going to happen first in your brain and then what actually happens whether or not you believed in yourself or you didn't is that relatable because when I heard that I was like oh my gosh like think about it you meet your person right when I met Scott in my brain my result was take it or leave it, however you want to take this one night stand. I'm not ever getting married. That was the result in my brain. I'm not kidding. That's the mindset I was in. I did not believe in marriage at the time. I was very burnt out on relationships. I was in this, the hamster wheel of stuck. Meanwhile, the result in Scott's head was I'm in love with this girl. I'm going to show her I'm a gentleman. I'm going to pursue her. I'm going to court her and I'm going to put a ring on it. So he made up the result in his mind. We get married. Ain't nobody getting that girl. We're locking it down. But in my mind, I had two different results. The one in my brain and the actual reality. The actual reality was he, he, he made me believe in our relationship and love and marriage. Isn't that crazy? For me there, it sounds like you're contradicting yourself. 
because you're saying that you have to see it first in order for it to happen. But what you saw wasn't what happened, was it? I love that example because for those of you that have known me that long, you're like, girl, I don't even know how he locked you down because I was a mess, right? So some of you are kind of like that in your businesses right now. You feel a little bit messy, all right? So this network marketing business, this Plexus business is 80% mindset, 20% skill set, 80% mindset. You, you miss the mark on your mindset because you're in a season of babies. You're in a season of divorce. You're in a season of moving. You're in a season of financial stress and debt, whatever season you're in. I've literally been in all of them. Okay. So allow me to be the evidence of what is available to you and how you can turn it around because of the power of the space between your ears. What we do here is simple. It is your mindset that gets you all hung up and strung out, right? I bet all of you right now can probably think of something that literally stopped you in your tracks last week, today, last year. Think about your business. Think about your points. Think about, I'm not talking about your team's points. We ain't talking about them. I'm talking about you and the work that you do and show up and do or don't do. There you go again, blaming. People do have lives, you know. They do have things that happen in them, you know. That's part of being an adult in the real world. If you've got a baby and it's sick, you're going to be taking care of your child, not growing your business. Does that make sense to most people that are not in multi-level marketing? I'm pretty certain it does. But it doesn't seem to make sense to these top leaders on these trainings, as far as I can see from all that I've watched. They seem to blame normal life events, but like I said earlier, it's never the system, is it? Even though we know it is the system. Like I said, business builders are created. So some of you probably have this thought okay, if I can just recruit, you know, 12 people this month or even just three people, I meant maybe just one of them will just believe in this enough and then they'll go diamond. But in reality, it's no, ma'am. It's not about the masses. Some of you are incredible recruiters. How many of you are like, give yourself a shout out. Like I've recruited over a hundred people in my five years and my five months with like, whatever that looks like for you. That's a great skill. But what's lacking is that you are not don't get mad at me for saying this. You are not willing to learn and practice developing a business builder. Because here's the thing. Anybody can do this. Anybody can do network marketing. I could literally teach my nine-year-old how to do network marketing because he believes, because he has seen the, the fruits of mommy's labor. He has seen Hawaii sand. He has seen the Plexus Diamond Lexus. He has seen the pink drink change mommy from being the mommy that does nothing to the mommy that is active and shows up at lunch and shows up at all his ball games and has provided for him. So he believes, and he's nine years old. He's like, he literally tells his teachers, you don't do plexus. Why not? You need to call my mom. Like he tells people that. So borrow my kiddos belief and know that anyone can do this. Stop selling yourself short and saying, well, I just haven't recruited that right person. Or I just don't recruit enough. No, ma'am. Practice makes perfect. You've just said that your nine-year-old could do this because he sees you as the example. But what about the people on their team call? They don't necessarily have anyone in their house that they see as an example. They have you on a Zoom call once a week or how often that is. That is their example, not exactly the same as someone living, eating, breathing and sleeping plexus in their own household. I don't think that is a fair comparison personally. Here are the three things that must happen in your mindset to develop business builders. Write these down. Number one, you have to have belief in this opportunity, like rock freaking solid belief in the plexus opportunity. Number two is you must have focus and prioritization 
of the number one things that help you reach the goal. So if you want, you for number two, you can write down focus and prioritization. It's a big word. I had to like triple check my spelling. <laughs> okay. And then number three, the, the most, the most important skill here, you have to have a willingness to get out of your comfort zone. How many of you have been avoiding that? Okay. Do you believe in the transformation that we offer? If you do not believe in the transformation that we offer, then I guarantee you, you lead with the products. Yes, you lead with the products. They're pretty awesome. I love our products. I think they're life-changing. I think they're innovative. I think they're smart. I think the triplex is our superpower. I love, love, love that we are the original company founded in gut health and we're becoming the experts in microbiome. People are going to turn to us over the next 10 years. We're going to be household. We already are a household name for the most part. A lot of people have Plexus in their pantries and I'm here for that. A lot of people in America may have Plexus in their pantries but what about other countries? I, I don't really know much about Plexus outside of America. So I can only speak for where I live in Europe. And I can assure you, there's no one I know where I live that has any Plexus product in their cupboard. So what's going to happen when everyone in America has been tapped out so to speak is that when plexus is going to branch out into other countries it's not because they're growing so big that they need to branch out no it's because they've run out of people to try and get involved and purchasing the product that is the reason why they open in other countries the Orange Box won a DSA award, which is the Direct Selling um, Agency Award, as the number one network marketing product for 2022. Out of every flipping product in the universe, Reset won. Do you, like, come on. So we have some great products, but if you don't have a willingness to get out of your comfort zone to talk about what the opportunity offers you, you ain't doing it right. You're working backwards. You know how we say work smarter, not harder? Leading with the business is actually not harder. It's smarter. It doesn't matter how good the products are if you are going to lead with the business. You are only using the products to get people involved, but they are not the most important thing. She's just told you that. The most important thing is to recruit, 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 and make sure you've the right mindset. Those are the two most important points as far as this leader is concerned. Which just sounds like a pyramid scheme, doesn't it? It may be one that's got products, but that still doesn't mean it couldn't get shut down. Because believe me, it still can. Because you can fall back on, oh, by the way, yeah, you can, you have, you know, no income cap, limitless earning potential. Oh, and also these awesome gut health products. Uh, they're really awesome to talk about and they help change thousands of lives, right? So it's like, that's your like plan B is your products, okay? So if you do not believe in the transformation that we are offering people through our opportunity, I just want you to know that that is going to determine your work ethic, how you follow up, whether or whether or not you are overcoming objections, and then just how you show up in general. Because if you don't believe and the opportunity that we offer people, of course you're not going to show up. Of course it's easy for you to quit. Of course it's easy for you to unplug and not get on a Zoom call. Of course it's easy for you to not answer your team in the team chat. Ugh, that girl asks the same question every day. I just can't lead her. She's hungry for it. She doesn't know. She lacks, she lacks clarity. If she had clarity, she wouldn't be blowing up the team chat. She'd be out there doing the work. So sometimes, I know, I know, I'm stomping on you right now. I'm putting at you a little fire. You're cute, but I'm burning, I'm, we're pouring water on your fire real quick. I need to, I need y'all to sizzle out and we're going to light the fire at the end. But right now I need y'all to simmer down and like, hear me out here. Okay. We got to pay attention to who really wants this. Some of you are some excellent, excellent recruiters and you have diamonds in your downline right now. 
right now. And if you don't believe that, then that's a you thing, not a them thing. Because they probably believe that and they've been waiting on you. They've been waiting on you is like the famous Jessica Ruckel always says, turn your light on. They waiting on you to turn your light on and to believe in this dadgum opportunity more than you believed in the tooth fairy when you were six years old. If you're on this Zoom call and you don't believe in the opportunity, don't listen to what this diamond is telling you. Just get out because your gut feeling, in my opinion, is going to be 100% correct. So there was an example these diamonds shared about something uh, she wanted to create a business builder. She had been in the in Plexus for a few years, just like many of you. And she saw a friend post on Facebook something along these lines. Tell me if you have ever seen a post like this from a dream teamer or so, like somebody that really wasn't even on your radar. But in the back of your mind, you're like, if I could just get someone to believe in this like me, right? Okay, here's the post. I wish I was an independently wealthy woman who could spend every day with my man and take my kids to Disney. This is a real life Facebook post that a diamond, before she was diamond, posted years ago. A different diamond who, who reached out to her said this about the post. She goes, so when I saw that post, it let me know that she desired something. She wanted something beyond what she thought was reachable. So I sent a message and reached out and I took a risk, even if she thought I was weird or crazy. They are now best friends to this day. And guess what? She still thinks her diamond upline is weird and crazy. She actually had to follow up with this person for one whole year because she was ignored. She was thumbs up, right? The middle finger of messenger. That's what I call it. She was, um, she was like kind of laughed at, like, are you serious? Quit, quit messaging me this, right? But the upline just knew if she would join, she had the potential to be a diamond because she saw her work ethic as a teacher and in the community. She was a busy mom. She was a newlywed. She just knew, I'm going to keep following up. I'm going to be the weird, crazy person that just tells her, if you would just freaking try this. I believed in the opportunity so much. I had such high belief in Plexus but that also correlated to the high belief I had in her. And I made that very clear. One year later, this person signs up and now they're both diamonds and earning at the top of this pay plan. That is the power of a reach out. Swallow your pride, get over yourself. And maybe that next person you have this conversation with is gonna be your diamond whether it's someone that already exists in your downline or a Facebook post you see. I feel really sorry for these people in this plexus opportunity. If they've got to keep messaging the same person who, regardless of how she answers you, she is basically saying no to your opportunity, but you are going to keep on for a whole year. Wow, can you imagine if you had to do that with everyone? You would have spent thousands and thousands of dollars. You would have put God knows how many posts on social media. You will be so demoralized because you've got to do that for a year with every person. I mean, she's basically telling them that that, that is a possibility that you are going to have to keep messaging the same people over and over and over and over and over again to persuade them to join this opportunity. And you could be doing that for a whole year before someone joins. It's no wonder people leave, is it? If this is the sort of training they get. Another thing that you must believe so that you can get comfortable with reaching out to people about the business opportunity or leading with the business is that you have to understand Plexus is different than most in every opportunity out there. You need to believe that people want residual income because they want freedom, right? Is that why you're here? You want residual income. You want more freedoms. They want limitless earning potential. They want support. They want community. They want to personally grow. They want recognition and of course to win fun prizes. You guys, we offer all of that. 
that was the my MLM is different speech. Um, no, your MLM isn't different to any other. You have to recruit people. You have to sell the products. You have to put posts on social media. You have a compensation plan. So your MLM is not different at all. And not only that, you have to buy the products yourself. So it's not residual income that's going to be coming your way, in my opinion. It's going to be money flying out of your pockets. That's what's going to be coming your way. All of that through Plexus. I was in corporate America for seven years, and there's like two things out of that list that they offered me. We offer all of this here as a business opportunity. The next thing that you must believe is that network marketing is simply a business model that requires a set of skills anyone can learn and get good at. Anyone, you, 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 all 29 of you, okay? For example, I hung out with a bunch of diamonds in Mexico. We are so freaking different, it's unreal. Like when I think of some of the people that I do Plexus with, my real life friends that I would have never known if it weren't for Plexus, some of us are overthinkers. Some of us are introverts and extroverts. Some of us are like rapid fire impulsive. Like there's a few of you on here. If I told you to go do something, you'd be like, boom, done, execute it. And then there's some of you that are like, well, hmm, let me just, I don't know. What's the worst thing that could happen? Meanwhile, they're over there going, what's the best thing that could happen? I'm going to do it. Like, right. Every dime at the top of this company is so different, but we are all at the top of the pay structure. So I just share that with you to help you understand all 29 of you are very, very, very different, but that difference is what makes you, you. And if you believe in you and you believe in this opportunity, then other people can't help but believe in you as well. The other thing you need to think about is how long has that diamond been in Plexus compared to how long you've been in it. Yes, different people can get to the same rank. I totally agree with that. People can, who are introverted, can change and become a little bit extroverted and start posting on social media. I do agree that if you really want to change in that way, it is possible for most people. But she's comparing where she is to where you are, but it's not a fair comparison, is it? Because she's been in this business, what, nine years? You may have only been in it one year, and she's telling you that because she can do it, you can do it. But when you join a multi-level marketing company, the earlier you join it, the better it is because it's new and people want to know about it. When it's been around for years and years and years, it doesn't have the same appeal for people, does it? Okay. Next up, you must believe that people want to do this with you. They are willing to do hard things. How do I know? I'm so glad you asked. People are showing up every single day to law school. People are applying to Harvard and Ivy League schools. People are becoming doctors and lawyers and giving birth and working in NASA. There's freaking biochemical engineers and all these things. Those, to me, seem really hard. Doesn't it make our job seem not as hard when you think of it that way? People do hard processes because of the outcome being worth it. I think her example there is hilarious. Becoming a doctor is worth it. Becoming a NASA scientist is worth it. Being in an MLM, in my opinion, is definitely not worth it. You are here in network marketing because you know in, in game is diamond. Whether you're a baby diamond making $15,000 a month or you're freaking the Celeste of diamonds making over $250,000 a month. It's all right her throwing around those amounts of money, but if you look at the income disclosure statement, look at the minute amount of people 
that get recruited that actually get to those points because it's not many is it it's 0.01 percent the newest income disclosure statement i could find is for 2020 and i'm going to link it down in the description below so you can look at it if you want to but the amount of people that actually get there as i said is totally minute you can believe all you want that you are going to get there but that's still not going to make it happen is it this call was about but number two is that prioritization remember when we wrote that down so if you're not prioritizing your activities that must be done to hit the goal, hmm, then what are we doing? We're avoiding. I have two questions for you. Do you have people currently in your downline that are just as hungry as you are and have they made that known to you? And two, if you don't think you have people in your downline or if you're not, if maybe you're about to enroll someone, then you must share about the opportunity more and have more combos around the opportunity with those that already exist. I guarantee you there's someone in your downline just as hungry, but they lack clarity or belief, and so they're not making a move. So she's blaming you again because you're not doing it right. But is it because this is the first time that you've been taught to do it this way? Have you been left to your own devices in a lot of aspects of the business? Is it really you that's not doing it right? Or is it that you haven't been taught to do it properly yet? So if you are thinking to yourself, okay, well, how do I focus? How do I prioritize? Let me ask you, what is distracting you? What is distracting you? Some of you, it's probably social media. Some of you, it's it's your children, toddlers, babies. Some of you is you are a stay-at-home mom or a stay-at-home parent. Some of you is you work full-time. And you have to fit it into the nooks and crannies later. Or you have to wake up earlier, stay up later, whatever that looks like. But did you know that most distractions are internal and you allow them versus external and imposed on you? So for example, if Scarlett got up right now and she came in here and said, mommy, I woke up, I need a drink. That is an external distraction that is imposed on me because I am her mother. I'm her caretaker. I must help her get a drink, right? But I'm, my focus right now is you guys and helping you understand your mindset, right? Like my focus is the Zoom. However, I could pick up my phone while I'm talking to you guys and open Instagram and find me a, a cute little fireman, right? And get distracted, and that's just because I'm avoiding having a hard conversation with you guys. Because so some of you are leaders on my team. Some of you are leaders in this company. And it's hard. It's hard holding them accountable, but it's necessary. So I want you to think about what is distracting you. Do you have a time where you set everything aside? Some of you have told you this before. When I wake up in the morning, I do not touch my phone. It, I glance at it to make sure my mom or family member has, does, there's no emergencies. But I do not touch my phone until almost 10 a.m. Now, if I have touched my phone before 10 a.m., it's to turn on a podcast or to upload a reel because I post my reels at certain times. But what I like to do is when I get home, I have a routine and I sit down and I set a timer. And so say my timer is 15 minutes or 50 minutes, 5-0, and I race against the clock. I have 50 minutes to knock out the number one thing that gets me to Emerald by the end of the year on my re-entry. That's my goal, by the way. So if that looks like following up with my new business builders and making sure they're hitting their weekly numbers and goals, that looks like following up so that I'm enrolling my people, it's, it's that focus. I'm prioritizing the number one thing that must be done by end of day. For those of you that want to grow, for example, 100 points, we know that that's a new gold ambassador or that's two new senior silver ambassadors. If that is your goal, because growth is good. Some of you are like chasing a re-rank. That might happen in a month for you and that's fantastic. But realistically, 100 points in growth, that's a great goal and it's realistic and it's something that all of you can do. Whether you personally recruit 17 people yourself or you work with the team that you have to get everyone rowing the boat in the same direction, but you all have to do the same outputs to get the outcome that's desired which is that 100 point growth anyone that's been in a multi-level marketing company 
will tell you that the hardest thing that you can do is get everyone rowing in the same direction. That is virtually impossible to do because you are going to recruit people who are obviously different. They have different priorities. They're not all going to be as hungry as you. For her to tell you, you need to get everyone rowing in the right direction is setting you a virtually impossible task, in my opinion. Because people in multi-level marketing, they join it, they might stay in it for a year, and then they leave. Some people join it, stay in it for a month, say, no, this isn't for me, and they leave. So you are constantly trying to recruit new people and following up with your existing downline, if you've got one, trying to steer them in the right direction for you to earn money. It's all right talking about residual income, but in a MLM, there is no such thing because people come and go all of the time. So you are never going to get a residual income for the simple reason that you constantly have to recruit three days a week. Some of you are working 90 hour plexus weeks and you haven't grown six points. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do the work that matters. That means sharpening up your conversations and your reach outs. That means getting more intentional with the reels you're creating or the posts that you're writing. Remember it's 80% mindset, 20% skill set. The skills can be fine tuned, but your mindset, that's something you got to work on every day some of those people there are working their plexus business 90 hours a week what happened to the time freedom then obviously that doesn't exist unless you're at the tippy top does it because someone's going to come in and tell you no and are you going to react to the rejection no. or are you going to overcome it i'll be back i you're dumb. Like <laughs> whatever you want to say to somebody. I don't know. I just feel sassy sometimes. And I'm like, you what? Like right now I have people in my corner that are like, I'm just too busy. I got this. I got that. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? I got three kids myself and a dog and a, ki- a husband, make it five kids. I run this household. I clean my household, but I have, I've had to ask for help. Is it fun to ask for help? No, but is it necessary? Sure is because it protects my mindset. It allows me to get creative. It allows me to breathe belief back into myself so I can pour that belief back into you guys. I call it business CPR. I cannot perform CPR on you when you are stuck and dying in your plexus business if I don't have breath in my lungs to breathe into you. My belief breaths or whatever. All right, let me go read the chat real fast. Any questions? Here for the toe stepping. Thank you, Jess. Appreciate that. Do we have any questions? Um. Let me allow you. If you want, you can unmute yourself. Does anybody lack clarity on what exactly your number one goal is right now? Like maybe you're just like, I don't know. I don't know what my goal is. And if that's you, please speak up and or forever hold your peace because there are going to be people that feel that same way. I do. Who said that? Hi. Okay. Do what? Sorry, cut out. No, tell me, what is your question? Oh, I was just saying I don't have clarity. Like, I feel like I'm really burnt out over the years of, like, just kind of people that have really just put me through the ringer. And I'm just like, yeah, you know the situation. Okay, so let's, let's, let's work through this for a second. So to me, it sounds like I avoid working my business because the people that I have brought into my business have done blank to me or have left me feeling blank. Can you fill in those blanks? Yeah. All right. Fill them in for us, please. Um, Rejection and they've gone behind my back and sabotaged me in their own way. Okay. So I avoid working my plexus business and developing leaders because when I did this in the past, they've rejected me, abandoned me, and have stabbed me in the back. Accurate? Okay. Yeah. So y'all, this is a Caitlin, this is a thought that Caitlin has created in her mind based off of certain evidence that has happened to her. 
Caitlin has been in Plexus for three years and she doesn't want to work the business anymore because she keeps being told no. People have left her and she's been stabbed in the back. So those are the things that you need to look forward to if you get involved with a multi-level marketing company because they're all normal things that happen. Now, does this represent her entire Plexus career? Absolutely not. But does it represent a pivotal moment where her thoughts changed about herself and her leadership capability? Heck yeah, it did. Because here's what I see. As an external factor looking in, I see a Caitlin who has overcome major obstacles, who has insane belief in herself and in this business, and that those people who have rejected you, what I what I love about rejection is that God is usually protecting you. Whether or not you believe in the Lord or not, that is what I believe, that anytime I am rejected or misguided or hurt, God wants me to learn something and be redirected because he's protecting me from something else. And it wasn't for me. Kind of like when you're in the, you're in the hallway, and God closes that door and you're like, why'd you close the door? Open the door. Right. And God's like, mm -mm, that door ain't yours, sister. Keep walking. If God is controlling what's happening in your business and God is shutting the door and telling you to walk on, then maybe you should listen and leave the MLM. That is the advice I would seriously give you. Thought, Caitlin, because that is hurtful. And I think it's important to feel those feels, but not to bring them back into your business. As I've said a million times before, emotions are important, but they are worthless in business when you are in a growth season. If Caitlin wants to grow, then those emotions we need to channel into your passions so give me three things you are very passionate about when it comes to your Plexus business. Becoming financially independent. Okay. Um, honestly, like I want to, I want to travel. Okay. And I want to prove to myself that I can. Okay. You've been in this business for three years and you haven't become financially independent you haven't traveled and you haven't proved to yourself that you can. Well, if you weren't in an MLM and you were working a normal nine to five job or whatever hours, I'm pretty certain you would have had holidays then. So you could have been financially independent already if you weren't in the MLM. You definitely could have taken holidays and traveled and you would have proved yourself capable of going to work so i'll go back to the previous comment get out of the mlm and you will achieve all of those things in my opinion i like the last one the most she wants to prove to herself that she can have you not provided yourself evidence in the last what what year did you join uh 2020 in the last three years, have you not provided yourself evidence that you can be successful? Yeah. Okay. And what is your highest achieved rank? A Ruby. So have you not provided yourself evidence that you can get to Ruby, that you can recruit and recruit well, that you can do really hard things in really crazy circumstances? Because I know some of your personal circumstances. So, right, not my story to tell, but just knowing that you created that evidence that it's available to you. Because we all got some ish, girl. We all got it. But, but if we create a new thought around those three things that you are passionate about, then we can work our business in a different way that is not burnt out and feeling stuck on the hamster wheel of Plexus death. But instead, we can work our business with, I'm showing up to work my business because I'm going to provide my family the vacations of their freaking life. I'm showing up to work my business because I'm going to be independently wealthy by said date of the goal that you wrote down. I am creating new business builders because I am going to prove to myself that I'm a great leader and that the things that people have said about me and done to me are not true. And so the new thoughts that we create around the negative ones, we have to replace them because if not, then we dwell on what that one person did. 
You know, I lost half my business in 2018 to people from another company. And recently, some of my really close level ones have also left either another company or quit entirely. But I cannot let that affect me personally because it's not a personal choice. It was their personal choice, not Caitlin's choice or not Emily's choice. Caitlin and Emily are both telling us there that what you've got to look forward to is so many people leaving the business opportunity. Emily lost half of her team. So basically she lost half of her paycheck and now she's got to start again. So how many ranks did she lose as well? How long did it take her to get those ranks back how much hard work did she have to put in to get back to where she was all of those are reasons why i tell you and other anti-mlm creators tell you not to join an mlm there are a few more questions to this but in my opinion, those questions and the answers that are given are pretty boring. This video is already a lot longer than I wanted it to be. So I'm just going to end it here. If you want to send me any opportunity or team calls, the instructions on how to do that are down in the description. You can forward it to me on the Google Drive through my email and my Instagram is also down there. So if you wish to DM me about any kind of content, then feel free to do that. If you've enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up. If you are one of the many people that watch every video I put out and you're not subscribed, then please subscribe because that really does help my channel to get shown to more people. The more actions you do that are free and the more minutes of my videos that you watch really do help me to be able to keep creating content like this. So that's it for now. I'll see you on the next video. Have an amazing day. Bye.